The goal is to create a learning community where all students have equitable opportunities to succeed and we're eliminating barriers to providing these transformative learning opportunities. We are committed to this charge because we recognize that a university education is crucial to building equity in a competitive 21st century global economy. The workforce is going to look different tomorrow than it does today and than it did yesterday, and we all know that, but I think really in the lived experiences of the people that we work with at WRTP Big Step, that workforce is not going to be majority white. That workforce is not going to have that straight path from a high school graduation to, a, to a, 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 an associate's degree or a BA or an MBA, anything. that It's going to be divergent because there are multiple pathways in any educational system. We have one of the best workforces, uh, not only in the country, but in the world. And I hear that time and again as employers are locating here uh, in Kenosha and Racine County. Uh, they're here because we have the best workers anywhere there are, anywhere in the world. We just have to make sure that we address, in particular, uh, this labor challenge and this labor mismatch to make sure that all Americans, that every citizen, that everyone here in Kenosha, everyone here in Racine, has the opportunity to really benefit from the from the economic growth that we've continued to see and what can we do to further accelerate that growth. The loss of manufacturing jobs has hit this region, including Milwaukee, more, I, I think, than, uh, than any other company. And so the, the aggregation of huge corporations have really created um, a challenge for restoring middle-class wages to people. As I pointed out to our students, my father had a third grade education. It was functionally illiterate, but he had a middle class job. He had health care. Um, he could walk to work uh, and um, didn't sustain himself. And that's a little bit out of people's grasp these days.